In the rotunda today, two groups marked five years since students walked out of their schools in protest against gun violence. And they used the occasion to say that in that time, the problem has gotten worse. Nebraskans against gun violence and moms demand action say the message from those students was clear. The young people of today told the grown-ups of today, we need you to do something about the American gun problem. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, in 2020, homicide and suicide were the second and third leading causes of death in adolescents ages 15 to 19, with firearms being the most used method. Nebraskans Against Gun Violence acknowledge other factors such as poverty and mental health play a role in what leads to gun-related deaths, but they say firearms are also getting more accessible across the country. Nationally, all the guardrails around firearms are dropping in state by state by state by state. So when you hear in Nebraska, in our legislature, when they're talking about this many states have permitless carry, that's a new trend. She's referring to Senator Tom Brewer's proposal to allow citizens to conceal carry without having to buy a permit. Brewer says she's barking up the wrong tree and that even if his bill passed, there would still be precautions in place. As far as having to do a background check when you purchase a weapon, that's still a requirement. If you're wanting to buy a handgun, you still have to have either a pistol permit, which is given by the sheriff, or you have to have a concealed carry permit through the state patrol. Senator Jane Raybould has a bill that gun control advocates support, the Suicide Risk Protection Act. It would allow law enforcement to confiscate guns from someone if a judge deems them a danger to themselves or others. She says 19 other states have passed such red flag laws. Nebraskans want common sense red flag laws adopted to help law enforcement work with families with family members in crisis to temporarily remove a firearm through due process to safeguard that family member until such time that the firearm can be safely returned. But critics say it would impose guilt on firearms owners and that they would lose their rights before they even knew they were in jeopardy. The types of instances that would be used by this red flag law to disarm an otherwise law-abiding citizen has um, really stoked the interest of Nebraskans across the state due to the constitutional issues. The ability to represent yourself in court, to be able to face your accuser, to have the opportunity to be innocent until proven guilty. Now, Senator Brewer's bill currently sits on select file and is being debated on the legislative floor. Senator Raybould's proposal is still in committee. Reporting in Lincoln, Joe Harris, Fox 42.